So I think everybody knows who Mr. Beast is. You know, he's got over 103 million subscribers. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you why he should be in jail. Um, and I pretty much got a whole bunch of articles just going to break down everything that I've been doing research on for the last few months and just want to break it down. So, hello everybody. Today I want to tell you about a poop tuber who really knows how to take the piss out of cry babies. His name is Yao Tao. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Clean the shit out of your ears and listen up. Because, man, have I got a deal for you. America is for sale. And if you act now, you can get a great deal on it. In fact, any part of my presidency or administration is up for grabs. Do you want me to write an executive order that will result in your company making billions in profits? Just name your price, buddy. Think of it as though the White House is having a yard sale. So if you want a piece of this presidency, subscribe to this channel and comment below. If you happen to catch me while I have functioning mental abilities, we can do business. Act now while supplies last. Operators are standing by. Thank you for your time. Welcome back. So, it all started a few months ago when I bought that stupid fucking Lego Star Wars game. And just like everything else these days, Lego has really gone downhill. It had all kinds of glitches and it crashed randomly every time I played. So while complaining about it online, I found this YouTube channel called Yao Tap. He was trolling Disney Star Wars apologists. And like most people who enjoy humor, I joined in. Eventually, the topic switched to Mr. Beast. I don't know anything about Mr. Beast, so I was no longer interested at first. But then I saw how upset Mr. Beast fans get. It's fucking hilarious. I mean, these kids must be either the dumbest poor bastards on the planet, or they're just pretending to be gullible, which actually could be the case. Because I've noticed recently that these kids are making their own expose videos about the tap. And since one of them showed a screenshot of one of my comments in his video, I thought it might be fun to use his video fodder. But before we begin, I just want to make it clear that the tab's humor isn't for everyone. Many of the jokes are for people who have been watching YouTube for a really long time. They may not be obvious. For example, some YouTubers mispronounce words intentionally just to get you to correct them in the comments section. Here's an example of what I mean. That being said, what we're going to be discussing today is one such instance that is the epitome of what you're not looking for. The tab does this for comedic effect, but I'm not certain the kids get it. Let's look at a few of their videos. I filled five buses to the brim with school supplies. So right off the bat, you can see Mr. Beast only has three buses. He literally has five buses on the screen and three buses actually in the picture. So obviously he's already exaggerating before the video even starts. Or he might have other buses somewhere else. To kick things off, we took those school buses and filled this gym with school supplies. Wait a minute, you're telling me that five full buses of school supplies are actually just fitting on six or seven tables? There's absolutely- Quick point. One, two, three, four, five buses. Pretending to be gullible. I know a lot of people love to support Mr. Beast. I love to support Mr. Beast. Since when did he support Mr. Beast? Real hard hitting journalism. <laughs> Let's look at the next one. Basically, there's this YouTuber called Yata who is worrying me by spreading a ton of false information. Pretty much all this guy, like, uploads exposed, 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 exposed. So but you know what? I'm going to expose the guy who's exposing. And he's actually tricking some people into this. But basically, Yata is saying that it's Mr. B's fault for getting a stupid haircut and that he girls won't talk to him. Literally, he said he asked the hair guy to seemingly out of nowhere get the same hair as Mr. B's. This kid needs to do his homework and go to bed. But that's just one of like 
how horrible the, this guy is. I mean, he's saying that in this video, a ton of the stuff, he's like, basically he says here that there are only, that he's, uh, that Mr. Beast says there's five buses and that there's- Right off the bat, you can see Mr. Beast only has three buses. He literally has five buses on the screen and on six or seven tables. There's absolutely- Literally two seconds later, the fucking bus thing again. Like, just come on. Next. This YouTuber is named Yatab, and he basically makes videos like Merbeast caught cheating and Ryan Trey and leering raw footage. And a lot of people actually believe it. There's my name again. Cringe, right? Anyways, Ryan Trahan has this trash bag, and it seems to me in this video like he's going around Los Angeles, California with this bag of trash and placing trash all over the beach and walking backwards and r what the heck he's even riding his ba bike backwards so like it, so people what yeah so he's just putting so yeah that's it he makes money off of click baiting his audience and exposing people he needs to stop this this one has been commenting for a long time the hurt feelings must just take control after a while Anyways, this last one has the biggest channel of all. If there's anything I've learned throughout my time on YouTube, it's the fact that anybody can say anything about anyone and somebody is going to believe it. And especially when you're talking about someone like Mr. Beast, because for some reason, he's had so many people try and cancel him throughout the years. But recently, I saw this video pop up in my recommended, and it's called Mr. Beast Chocolate Factory Was Rigged, 99% Proof. And it's an eight minute video where some guy just tries to claim that Mr. Beast's most recent video is completely rigged and fake without really showing any proof at all. And to be honest, it kind of just seems like he's trolling anyways. Now hearing that, you would probably assume that this video was made by a child and no one had really seen it. But the truth of the matter is, it was made by this bloke and it's been seen by over 300,000 people. That's what you call jealousy. Now the worst bit is, even though there's a lot of people in the comments defending Mr. Beast and not believing a word this guy says, there are some people in the comments who seem to believe it. I still love Mr. Beast, but I'd say this is a very fair analysis. Some points were bad, but it is a bit sketchy, I have to agree. Came to this video to hate, but the fact that he's related to Gordon Ramsay is a big red flag. I was there for those comments and no one took any of it seriously. Except for this guy, apparently. I also broke this down in one of my other videos, Della Vlogs. They're actually the nephew of Gordon Ramsay, which I will get into that a little bit later. It's just not true, is it? <laughs> like when I first heard this, I did a lot of searching to try and find out if this was true, and I'm pretty, pretty certain it's not. Okay, I think that's all I can take. Does this kid really expect me to believe he's that dumb? Folks, when I first started watching Yao Top, he had several thousand less subscribers. And I've seen the same kids in the comments every day. Make no mistake, these kids love the tap because he gives them what they want. Something to be outraged about. If you don't believe me, just take a look at this. This is a speed run for the world record for Super Mario Brothers from December 17, 2017. It broke a very popular world record until someone realized it was fake. Then, the kids started sharing it around and shitting bricks about it. Just like they are doing now, with the tap. But the thing is, because of all the clicks, sharing, and the metric shit ton of exposed Zay videos. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned the fact that Tavo is making a complete mockery out of the entire thing by sipping coke and eating pizza between levels. These kids caused this channel to gain over 45 million subscribers. And the kid from the video has 5 million for his solo channel. I guess this is just how the kids have a good time. Everywhere you look, outrage porn rules the internet. My videos have, have caused a lot of controversy, a lot of uproar here on YouTube. You've seen the comments. You've seen 
what people have been saying and it's uh i've taken it to heart it kind of just seems like he's trolling anyways anyways <laughs> 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 <la